Chapter 12, The Story Thus Far Ryoma and Okita had gained an audience with the Shogun, but their return to Kyo was far from peaceful. Were they perhaps too late? Ryoma hurries, dashing through the flames. Despite his efforts, however, he is too late to save the fallen Kondo. The chaos continues, following the other Sakamoto Ryoma's orders. Okada Aizo launches one final desperate attack. As dawn approaches, the conflict between Ito and Kondo's factions finally comes to a head. Under Ito's leadership, a new enemy of the Shinsengumi emerges, the Goryo Eji. And standing among them is Toto Heisuke. Chapter 13, The Assassination of Sakamoto Ryoma Well then, just what do you suppose we do now, Toshi-chan? Most of our troops left with Ito. At this rate, there's not much we can do, Shinsengumi or otherwise. Yeah, but who'd have thought Heisuke, of all people, betray us? Hijikata. There's something I need to ask you. Yes? The final move Kondo-san left with you before he passed. That meeting was his doing, wasn't it? It was to draw out the traitors. Indeed it was. What's wrong, Hajime-chan? Something got you down? No. Ito has many things, but he wasn't the type to hide his ambitions. Kondo-san had likely seen through his betrayal. Actually, I'm almost sure of it. Yeah, I reckon you're right. Regarding Kondo-san's plan, did he say anything else? Well, what's the word, Toshi-chan? I felt the best way to deceive the enemy was from within. So with that... Come in. Giving it away kinda early, huh, Hijikata-san? You could have stretched it out a bit. Heisuke. It's as Saito, or rather Sakamoto-kun, said. This is what Kondo-san wanted. Ito took the bait. And as a result, the other Sakamoto Ryoma was revealed. The other Sakamoto Ryoma? Revealed how? Hijikata. Hijikata, please, tell me about Kondo's plan. We knew that Ito Kashitaro had been wanting to take over the Shinsengumi since he first joined. Kondo-san intentionally let him roam free in order to keep watch and see who he allied himself with. It was all to reveal the true enemies of the Shinsengumi. So Ito is being used as Chief Kondo's tool right from the get-go, just for that purpose. Yes, that would about sum it up. And our man on the inside was Heisuke. Heisuke is from Sh Shekan. However, he'd also had the connection con the connection of learning mil- Damn it. Kondo-san had Heisuke get close to Ito a little over a half a year ago, as a, as a means to figure out his motives, apparently. Apparently? So you weren't in the know, then? 
I wasn't. Still, Kondo-san never fails to surprise me. I can't imagine just how far ahead he was thinking. Sorry about all this, guys. I didn't want to keep it a secret, but there weren't a whole lot of chances to speak up. So in order to find who Ito was connected to, Toto had to at the park. Is that it? Right -o. If you kill Ito-san right then and there, all my hard work would have gone out the window. Man, that was rough. Been a while since I've shot a gun. So we figure out who's Ito linked to then. Well, it's Sakama Toriyoma from Tosa. Sakama Toriyoma. Damn, he just keeps popping up. Ah, but I did get some other, even bigger info. What's that? Sakama Toriyoma is planning to hold a meeting with the representatives of Choshu and Satsuma alone. Ito-san was tasked with setting it all up. Choshu and, S and Satsuma. So Katsura Kokoro and Saigo Kichinosuke. Was it the Great Restoration maybe? Since that went down, Sakama Toriyoma has been in a panic. What with his goal to end the Bakufu and all. I see. So he wants to use Asacho's desire to start a new government and delude them into taking on the Bakufu. He'd be starting a war and dragging all of Japan down with it. Yeah, but according to Ito-san, that's just a cover, and Takama Toriyama's got another objective. And that be what? Killing off Katsura and Saigo? No, it's not that simple. He wants the Sacho and the Bakufu at each other's throats, and once they're both exhausted, he'll use the Loyalist Party to crush them all at once. Two big birds and one big stone, huh? But neither Choshu nor Satsuma is that easy to fool. Do you really think they'll agree to meet? That's the thing. It's why, it's why Ito-san was desperate for a way to get Choshu and Satsuma together. Top of that, he's got a prep place that all three parties can meet in secret. So, Heisuke, where's this Akama Toriyama guy now? Who knows? That's one thing Ito-san kept entirely to himself. That said, I do think Ryoma would show himself, so long as the Sacho me, me actually happens. Right. Then we'll just have to make sure it does. Huh? We set it in motion. Then wait for the others to come to Ryoma to show up as planned. You're saying you want to use the Sacho meeting as bait? Exactly. The man had Serizawa Kamo kill Pops, then had even Kamo himself killed. This time, we'll get the jump on him. But how do you suppose we get all three parties in place? The meeting won't happen without first convincing Choshu and Satsuma. Leave that to me. To you? You have a plan. I've met both Katsura and Saigo before. I'll just have to go and ask them. Hajime-chan? You're gonna ask him directly? Yeah, that's gonna be tough. What do you mean? 
Hito-san, Hito-san's Goryeo Hito Edge are all over town right now. It's not like Saito-san's a fresh face either. You run out to meet Saigo and Katsura, and it's only a matter of time before Hito-san gets wind of it. Well, when you put it like that, I guess we're all stuck here. Everyone except Heisuke. But with the Grave Restoration, an audience with either Saigo and Katsura will prove rather difficult. They're now in direct contact with the Emperor. Even if Heisuke want to meet them, they likely wouldn't bother. Damn it. But if we don't move now, we won't be able to stop him. We can't let Sakama Toriyoma get away with this. We need to somehow pull Saigo and Katsura into the plan without alerting the Goryo Eji. The question is, how? Why don't you let us handle that? Nakaoka? I just got back from Tosa, but I heard pretty much everything. Looks like all the players are here. Otose and Oreo? What's going on? <laughs> I'm honestly surprised they didn't have the meeting over at the barracks. Whoa. It's a new inn they just finished building a few days ago. I call it Omiya. Omiya. I'm sure you all remember what happened at Teradaya. No thanks to a select few. Customers aren't exactly keen on staying in a place with such a rough history. And, well, I figured we could all use a fresh start. So then, why bother bringing a group like us here? Omiya is up, sure, but it's nowhere near running. I thought it'd be per just perfect for the Tosa, Satsuma, and Choshu to have a little chat. You want them to meet here? Ma'am, you do realize what you're suggesting, yes? This isn't to exchange pleasantries. We plan to hit them fast and hard. As if I wasn't already aware. My point is that you can use Omiya however you like. You're serious? What if we want to go buck wild and wreck the place? Be my guest. But if you're only planning on doing things halfway, then it might be better to just have you burn it all down. Saves me the trouble of having to tear it down, and the rebuild will be cheaper. Why do all this, Otose? Hajimehan, no. Sakamato-sama. I don't care if it costs me everything I have. Please, save this city. Save Kyo. Otose. It's been a year since the Mibu wolves first arrived. Since then, blood's filled the streets. Every day here is like a feast for the crows, and it's only getting worse. Please, I hate seeing Kyo like this. If we rid ourselves of this other Sakamoto Ryoma and all that he's done, then surely this nightmare can finally end. And if that's the case, then I will gladly spare an inn or two. Please, for the sake of Kyo, for all the people who call it home, put an end to this.
Lift your head, Otose. If that's your wish, consider it granted. I'll see this finally ends right here at Omiya. All of it. Sakamoto-sama. For you. I feel the same way she does. So please, if there's anything I can do to help, just ask. It's... It's the only way to atone for what I did to you, Hajime-san. Alright then. For starters, you can quit bowing and maybe try to smile. Huh? The way I see it, that's the most important thing we've got. Okay, the stage is set. Now we just need Saigo and Katsura. Speaking of, leave Saigo to me. You'll talk to him? I doubt Saigo will currently meet with someone he's never met. Maybe. But the Goryo Eji don't know my face, so unlike you guys, I can move about without drawing much attention. That, and I've got a little something special to show our friend Saito. Something special. Yeah. The face of the man pretending to be Sakamoto Ryoma. It's him. Wait. What the hell? This is what they call a photograph. What do you say, Sakamoto? This face take you back? Yeah. It's Takechi Hampeta. Who now? He's like a brother to me. And the founder of the Tosa Loyalist Party. They said he committed seppuku in Tosa, but I knew it wasn't true. That's him. Hmm? That's the Sakamoto Ryoma I met. Met how? That's right. It was him. Hajime-chan. Did you know that this Takechi guy was going around calling himself Sakamoto Ryoma? I had heard it from Okada Izo, but I guess you can't get more solid proof than this. It's my hope that this photograph will be enough to get Saigo interested. Now, it's likely Saigo already knows Ryoma's identity. But I don't imagine too many in the Sacho know that Takechi is the face behind the name. With luck, that'll catch Saigo's attention. At least enough for him to hear me out. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. But what about Choshu? Unlike Saigo, We've no idea where Katsura might show up. There's no way to meet him. There is one way. If we can get in touch with a woman named Ikumatsu, Katsura won't be far behind. She's the Okami at Mutsunoi, a bar that Katsura has been running in secret. I met him through her once already. Then, let me go get him. Heisuke, I can move around town more easily, and that photograph, mind if I fill Katsura in on that too? But ain't it your job to suggest this place to Ito? Hey, yeah, how are you gonna explain running out to me Katsura? Not sure, maybe I'll say I'm going out for a drink and give him the slip. Dodo. 
You're treading dangerous water here. Just be careful that Ito and the others don't catch on. I will. I will. Alright then. We should head back to the barracks before the sun sets. That should help Nakaoka and Heisuke get around a little easier. For now, I can only pray that Nakaoka and Toto get things done on their end. I should probably do what I can till then. Maybe I'll stop by the house. Taking the rest of your coffee futon here will help you pass the time, even though it might feel like it's only been a few seconds. What's up guys, I'm Vocal Strike, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play the Like a Dragon Ishin. Last time, we went through all of Chapter 12 in one video, and this time, we have kicked off Chapter 13, and we can only pick up one memoir. We have to get to reach the final chapter before, uh, before we can get the last, uh, get the final two. Then we get the very last one. There's something on the ground. Gossip from a seafaring warrior. Gossip from a seafaring warrior. My dear friend, I must ask you to ensure no one else ever sees this letter. Should the Bakufu find out what I'm about to tell you, the results will be catastrophic. You may wonder why I would risk writing such a letter, but I was so shocked by what I've learned that I simply cannot stop myself from telling somebody. There needs to be proof of this moment. While sailing to Edo, there were two other men aboard. I grew quite nervous when they informed me they were Shinsengumi captains. One of them asked me to read an ornately written letter that was giving them trouble. That was giving them trouble. It was a mass. It was a missive for the Bakufu. It had e it had seven enormous requests that, if enacted, would change this entire nation. Full authority shall be restored to the imperial court, rightful executor of all decrees henceforth. Create a congress where national policies can be debated and voted on as a group. Revisit all abusive treaties with foreign powers. Establish a national constitution. Reinforce the navy. Establish a city guard for the capital. Set the value of gold and silver to that of other nations. After reading these to the men, one of them asked me to add another request to myself. He said to write, All ranks of status are henceforth abolished and positions are to be given based on talent, including all court members and lords. Do you realize this is exactly what I've always hoped for? I poured my soul into each brushstroke as I added the request all the while thinking of the potential future of the, for this country. When I was done, the men said they were going to Edo Castle to hand deliver the letter to the Shogun. My friend, I believe I have witnessed Japanese history in the making. Talk more soon. Oh, this is from the, uh, from the sailor from the, from the cutscene on the way to the castle. But, considering that the, uh, Considering that whole cutscene took about 20 minutes, we're just going to be doing some side stuff uh, for now. And it wants me to go to Second Life. But for now, uh, we are going to, for starters, pray. And I want to check out the dojo. I just pushed the cross button, damn it. Oh wow, that is a lot of you. Oh yeah, which reminds me. Okay, so what I have equipped for sword is better. This is also better. Increase the tap power against armored enemies by 20%, so a total of 40%. And dead. This 
since I'm about to enter. Let's increase the strength of brawler style. Because I'm pretty sure we've had more than five fights. Ah, welcome back. Can we learn something? Hmm. Please, teach me. Excellent. Let's begin. Saito-san, I believe I've taught you every significant technique in my repertoire. Now you must use them against me. Does that mean this is my final test? Something like that. If you can defeat me now, I shall consider you a veritable master of the Kamaki okay. style. A master? I've been coming to this dojo nearly all my life, and I've never seen anyone claim that title. Well, obviously. I've never given it to anyone. Dunce. Wow, that's amazing, Saito-san. But first, I'll have to beat you right. But first, I'll have to beat you right. Of course. Need I explain that such a feat should prove an enormous challenge even for you? <laughs> Not necessary. I think we both have an idea of the other's strength. Whether friend or foe, when fists or swords clash, there will always be a connection between the hearts of those involved. If you do not seek to understand the heart of your opponent, all you'll accomplish is crude violence and murder. How profound. As long as I've been here, I've, I still struggle to fully comprehend that philosophy. Keep studying. I'm sure that with time, it'll make sense. I've just been training a bit longer than you. Yes, I'll train every day then. For the rest of my life. Enough chatter. I'll be coming at you with everything I have, Saito-san. Are you prepared? Yeah. Let's do it. Very well. Begin! Kamaki Munamitsu. I just Oh I have no equipment Alrighty then Oh, come on. I'm having actually a hard time actually hitting this guy. And he does so much more damage than I do. I'm not even... I'm struggling to hit 10 damage. He's hitting me for hundreds. Or like just over a hundred. I'm having to use my healing items. Oh, that hit me for just over 200.
Nope. I gotta keep better eye on the health. Come on, old man. The only reason why I'm surviving for this long is because of these healing items. try again and I used up a shit ton of healing items too ah, come on. Dullard I told you to defeat me I'm disappointed pull yourself together and try again well at least I'm fully healed sort of and my equipment's automatically re-equipped I'm gonna go back and get more healing items cause holy crap I'm gonna have to try that again And while we're here, uh, let's also go over to the temple and spend some of this virtue.
Ah, oh, crud. Uh, Negishi Tadanari. <laughs> Okay, golden soiree interior, anything else, reduce virtue, slow down maximum level, Shinto priest exchange maximum level, and then it's just improved reputation. Let's do this one, let's go ahead and get all the rest. Oh wait, there was one here. Trooper squad level three. Let's go ahead and get this golden soiree. Then level four, then maximum level. What do you got now? More plates. Priest Omosubi. I'm on my own shop. Uh, passion pill. Special vitality pill. Seems to greatly restore your health. A mysterious red dongo. It's said to moderately increase experience points in the brawler style. Swordsman, gunman, wild dancer, and experience. Okay, so he now also has these. Uh, some more crafting material. And it looks like that's it. I'm assuming I cannot use any other style. Let's keep the health up.
Keep health up, keep health up, keep health up. Thank <laughs> you. 
I should not have dropped that guard. I was trying to evade. I'm not going to try risking it like I did last time. is yours. I can't believe it. You beat Sensei. No, I was just lucky. I happened to be born later than the old man was. If we were the same age, days would have gone differently. So, I lost a time before I ever had the chance to lose to you. I've gotten soft. I should probably think, thank you for helping me realize that. No, let me thank you. I never expected I would meet someone like you here. You too, actually. Thanks. Oh, come on. All I did was watch all the great lessons you nailed. But I'm going to get as strong as I can. Maybe I'll be able to win back some of the students we lost to sword schools. I feel rewarded for having met you, young man. My student here was right about one thing. A dojo is nothing without its pupils. I spent many sleepless nights worrying if adhering to my principles was dooming the Kamaki style. But after trading blows with you, I know that I was not mistaken. True martial arts reward discipline and devotion, no matter what weapon their, use, their users wield. Mm, that's true. Which means the Kamaki style need be solely empty-handed. Sensei? I've decided the Kamaki Dojo will continue training bodies of mine, regardless of whether that means fists or swords. But, Sensei... You put a katana in my hands and I'll really show you what swordplay is. <laughs> After all, stubborn men may have strength, but what does such a thing matter without people to inherit it? Sensei, I'm going to train with everything I have, with fists and swords. I'll even enter tournaments to spread word of the Kamaki Dojo. Such a fussy young lad. If you intend to represent us, prepare for harder training than ever before. Yes, Sensei. Saito-san, thank you so much. Here. Please accept this gift from me. Book of Revelations, throw. The Kamaki Dojo will always be open to you, Saito-san. Come back whenever you want. Thanks. I'm looking forward to seeing you get stronger, too. Yes, I will. Okay. What does... Uh, Book of Revelations, throw. Tells of the brawler ability, Essence of Reverse Throw. By repeatedly parrying enemies' attacks, this technique may come to you. The triangle heat icon will appear when you can activate this revelation. So parrying enemy attack, so I have to do the parry. The thing is, I don't remember if that was while guarding with the bumper or pressing the cross button at the right time. Press L1 just as an enemy strikes to parry. Okay, now we're going to give uh, Sa uh, Sato, Sato uh, the memoir we just picked up. 
I'm going to take a stop over at the, um, over at the prize ticket booth to get rid of these prize tickets. And we're also going to see if we're going to tr try, I'm going to try to get the revelation, but I cannot guarantee I'll get this episode. Deluxe Passion Pill. Oh, first prize. Second prize. The grand prize. The other grand prize. Third prize. Ah, uh, fourth prize. First prize. Fourth prize. Fourth prize. Okay, one more prize ticket left to go. Ah, for prize. Okay, I actually got some pretty decent stuff. Greatly increases virtue. Moderately increases virtue. Hey, where's Sato? Hmm? That's unusual. I don't see Sato. Sato-san, thank goodness you're here. Sato-san is in trouble. Sato is? What happened? A group of Sono Joey Shishi barged into the place and attacked him from behind. What? Where's Sato now? I don't know. They gave me a letter for you, Saito-san. And then they took him away. Ernest Sato's life is in your hands now. Come to Mukurogai alone. Bastards. They're holding him captive in Mukurogai. No. They really took him somewhere that dangerous. Saito-san, if I may, for all of us here, you've got to say Sato-san. Aren't you that regular I met? You drink with Sato a lot, huh? Yeah. And not just me. Everyone here considers him their best company. And it's not because he pays for drinks. He's a good man. And they dragged him off right in front of us. We couldn't do anything to help him. It's not your fault. They were armed samurai. Still, I'm ashamed of myself. He's my friend. Mine too. And I was too frightened of what they might do if I spoke up. That was the right call. 
Any of you might have got, might have been killed if you tried to intervene. Saito-san, please, please rescue him. Mm, I will, for all of you. And because of Sato, because Sato is my friend as well. Thank you so much. Be careful out there. Oh, are we teleported there? No time to waste. I'll go to Mukuroga and bring Sato back safely. Diplomacy in darkness. Okay, so we're gonna have to go to Mukuroga ourselves. Which is fine. I'm not gonna try to get the... Get in the substory. There you are, Saito Hajime-san. Third division captain. If I'm not mistaken. Are you the one who kidnapped Sato? Indeed I am. Tanaka Shinbei of Setsuma. Kawakami told, Kawakami told me about you. I hear you were able to best his Aijutsu. Not only that, you defeated Aizo himself. You must be something truly special to have felled two butchers. Naturally, I had to see for myself. Let Sato go then. If I'm the one you want, you could have just come for me. That's true. I could have. Perhaps it was unseemly to lure you out here like this. The thing is, this man's no run-of-the-mill foreigner. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Hmm. Allow me to enlighten you. Ernest Sato here is a diplomat, sent straight to us courtesy of the British Foreign Office. You work for the government. You work for the government? He reports directly to the British Japan Consular Service. Of course, that's not all. His very mission is to gather intelligence for the British, make reports on our political climate, on the lives of our citizens. A foreigner creeping into Japan, looking for weaknesses to exploit when the invasion comes. He's even trying to reach the ear of Saigo Kichinosuke. He wants to manipulate my homeland. No, it's nothing like that, I swear. Of course, nominally, Japan and Britain are allies, so my hands are tied. I can't kill him. Unless you smuggle him to the dead man's quarter to bury the body. Precisely right. Mukuroga is the den of shadows. No one's death here, even a diplomat's, raises eyebrows. And this way, I have a hostage I can use to force you to fight me. Draw your sword, Saito-san, or I... Or I kill this whimpering mole. You're disgusting. Fine. You want to fight? Let's do it. <laughs> Everything according to plan. Let's see that sword of yours. Loyalist Sishi. Do I fight all of them? I honestly don't know if I can block swords. Or a parry, rather. No! This is impossible! Back away! Retreat, damn it! Sorry it took me so long. I came as soon as I heard. No, no. Thank you, Saito-san. Is it true? You work for the British. Sorry. I wasn't trying to keep it a secret, exactly. I was just... It was just never the right time to bring it up. We were using me this whole time. All of us. Gathering our stories for your government. No. 
No, never. All my research was my own. It had nothing to do with my role as a diplomat. I love Japan. It began as curiosity, but the more people I met, the more I cared for this land as your home rather than as my simple fixation. I would never dream of using the stories you've sh all shared with me to hurt you in any way. Why do you still do it? Why have you come this far just to satisfy your interest? In truth, there's someone important to me I'd like to meet here. Someone who may be vital to Japan's future. And before I speak to him, I must become more knowledgeable. I don't understand. I don't think anyone would deny that Japan is struggling right now. Remember what I mentioned before. How the quality of people's lives is plummeting from theft and cost of living. Everyone knows it. But so few are willing to do anything about it. Not like you, Saito-san. You're one of the only people I've met who seems genuinely concerned with helping. But I need someone of much greater power. Someone who can move mountains. There's only one man like that. Saigo-san. Armies march on his say-so. Whole domains wait on his command. Saigo Kichinosuke, huh? Is that what Tanaka was talking about earlier? Japan's overlong isolationism has weakened it. It's lagging behind. Confrontation with global powers has plunged into chaos. Unless this country stabilizes quickly, it'll be overrun. Conquered by nothing more violent than... Ma... Machavelin... Machavelin... Treaties. I probably butchered that. If you try to fight back carelessly or allow your weaknesses to be exploited, my home country will make a colony of you all. You really think that could happen? Colonization. I do. And then, all this beautiful culture and the people who would preserve it will be erased from the earth. This isn't paranoia, my friend. This is history. The way it's always been written. And you think Saigo can prevent all that? The Satsuma Domain once war warred with Britain. They were ferocious, despite the gap in military strength. We were moved by their resolve. Not a soul could doubt their pride and patriotism. I believe the leader of such a domain must have a truly unique outlook when it comes to his country's preservation. I have to speak with him and find out, to ensure Japan can protect itself. Well, you certainly got someone's attention. Unfortunately, this time it, was, it wasn't Saigo's. Yet, I can't stop now. To do so when... Merely be given up on my dreams, but giving up on Japan. On Japan, huh? You're a pretty serious guy when you're sober. Forgive my selfishness, Saito-san. I'm gonna need more help from you, finding more memoirs from Japanese folk. So you'll have more knowledge to bring to Saigo. It won't be easy. But if you really think that's the only way... Well, I've been learning a lot from these things, too. I'll indulge you for a little longer. Oh... Very, very arigato. Did I say that right? I'll head to the Izakaya for now. Come find me when you've collected more accounts. Alright, just watch your back from now on. Okay, goodbye, Saito san. Huh. Didn't really expect to get a uh, sub story done out of this. Let's meet him back over at uh, over at the bar and give him that memoir. Hand over the memoir and discuss. Gossip from a seafaring warrior. I'll be. This is about a petition for the Bakufu. Written on a boat heading for Edo. Wait. The letter mentioned Shinsengumi captains aboard. Is this... No. Is this about you, Saito-san? Hmm. Not to my knowledge. No? Hmm. Still, what an amazing find. How profound. The picture of post Bakufu Japan. Honestly, I'm relieved and amazed that anyone in the country is preparing for such a contingency. And on a boat, no less. Here's what I have right now. Yeah. Ryoma does not want the spotlight at all. Uh, 
Okay. Let's go over to the sumo wrestler. Yeah, let's head over to the sumo wrestler and um, progress his bond. Hmm? And then we'll end the episode there. Oh, it's you, sir. How did your match go? He is now 7th rank. A Komusubi. Rusty, sir. You were to wrestle at my full strength. Of course, I've got poor match coming up soon. Let's give him a Yokan. I feel alive again. Your appetite never fails to impress me. Think you can win now? Ah, without a doubt. Uh, we're getting closer. But next time on Like a Dragon Ishin, we will be progressing the main story. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notification. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.